Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another craft beer review. Today I got something my buddy Hoggy sent me in the mail. I've been holding on to it for a while. He probably forgot he sent it to me. It's been so long. Uh oh, we got another one from the Duck Rabbit. And this Duck Rabbit is wearing a Russian style hat because what we have is the Rabbit Duck Russian Imperial Stout 10% ABV. That'll mess you up. I've had this one sitting out a while. He's enjoyed by the date. I'm trying to make sure we're okay on the date. Doesn't, I think they forgot to mark this one. It'd be fine. It's Imperial Stout. It's not like an IPA where you really, you know, kind of got to move on it. And uh, here we go. North Carolina. Thanks a lot, Hog, for floating this up my way. Appreciate it, man. If I could fucking... There we go. I swear I gotta get a better one of those. There's the mug. Here's the pour. Oh, whoa, this is dark. It's dark. About as dark as they come. I mean, that is just thick. I mean, really thick beer. So thick. Poured a nice, say, one finger head on there. And look at that. I mean, that is, see up to the light. You can barely, just around the edges, you get some light coming in. Uh, kind of a chocolate milk colored head. Nice and foamy and nice mixture of smaller and bigger bubbles. This is definitely looking good. Like I said, I had to sit out a little while, so should be right around the same temperature it's supposed to be. Should be 50, 55 degrees right around there when you're drinking these Imperial Stouts. And uh, obviously using a mug. It's got a smell. It's not mess around. Oh man, really. Oh, they kind of give me shivers. It smells so good. Really nice chocolatey, malty character. Uh, there is a little sting in there though. I definitely can smell the alcohol. 10% big beer. Uh, head's dissipating a little bit, but it is leaving some lacy behind. So you know, you know, I'm a big fan of that. Let's have a taste, guys. Cheers. definitely has a unique flavor um, it's very bitter like like if you've ever tried a, a chocolate that is a really dark chocolate I'm talking like 80% 85% cocoa that's really what this gives off I mean it, it finishes pretty clean but that chocolate bitterness really does linger around with you. Um, and that's not a bad thing. This isn't the best Russian Imperial Stout I've ever had. Um, it's a little lighter bodied than I usually like out of a Russian Imperial Stout. I mean, if you've ever had Old Rasputin, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about full fucking bodied. Full on, man, you know. And this isn't quite that, but it is good. It's very enjoyable. Um, yeah, man. it is good. It's an enjoyable beer. A little bit of barley taste in there. Some dark roasted malts and a nice bitterness, a nice cocoa, dark chocolate bitterness, or the three flavor notes I get the most. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to call this one Solid B. We're not going to go minus or plus, just Solid B. And uh, yeah, this is a good one. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this for show. You guys, thanks for watching. As always, cheers.